So tonight we're going to be participating in a Passover Seder. The word Seder is Hebrew, uh, and it means the order of service. Uh, the booklet we are using, or the PowerPoint for this matter, uh, is to guide us through Passover observance. It's referred to as a Haggadah. The word Haggadah means the telling. This comes from the Hebrew word vihagata, that is found in the passage of Exodus 13a. Bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. The cup of judgment comes from I will rid you of their bondage. The cup of redemption, I will redeem you with an outstretched arm. The cup of praise, I will take you as my own people. Now, again, traditionally, they would do four full glasses of wine, and you would shoot these things. Like, you would just shoot the whole glass of wine. Um, uh, so maybe one year with a select group of people. Uh, I'll see what happens. Um, uh, we'd be very clear. The Bible says it's a sin to be drunk, and it's not very nice about drunkards. So don't get the wrong idea. Uh, but it is a celebration, guys, and, and that's the point, right? We're celebrating that God freed the slaves from Egypt and that he freed us from the slavery of our sin. All right? I want everyone to slouch, to relax, put your feet up on the chair across from you. Seriously, like it, 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 in a real Passover meal, they would actually like put pillows out and lay across the table and relax. It is a ceremonious part of Passover. So please feel free to recline and relax, just as Jesus did. All right, now it's time for uh, the erkats, or the washing of hands. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them, You call me teacher and Lord, and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. And so traditionally in a Passover meal, uh, you would hand a, a bowl of water uh, from place to place, and you would hold it for the other person to ceremoniously wash their hands. And Jesus took it a step further and washed his disciples' feet and saying, uh, look, I, you call me Lord, but I'm saying, look, I, I came to serve. The Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. Um, and so today, I was going to have Amanda and I uh, walk around for the ceremony of washing hands. I'm going to ask Shauna to take Amanda's place, if you would. Um, if you would come up here. We're going to just walk around. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we are just going to uh, bring these bowls of water around for the ceremony of the washing of hands. And all you need to do is dip your hands, just your fingertips in, just doop doop, and then you can dry your hands on the towel. Both hands. Are Both hands. <coughs> That's the only need to Oh, it's cool. You get to go first. Just dip both of your hands in. There you go. Good job. I thought it was going to be Start with the red dot. Oh, the red dot. It says, why is... Why is this? So I will stretch out my hand and strike the Egyptians with all the wonders that I will perform among them. After that, he will let you go. A full cup of wine is considered a cup of joy. It is, deed, it is indeed uh, good to be joyful in God's mighty deliverance. Our joy should be tempered at the recognition of the great cost at which redemption was purchased. For the Israelites, many lives were sacrificed to bring about the release from the slavery of Egypt. In Proverbs 24, 17 through 18, we are reminded, Do not gloat when your enemy falls. When he stumbles, do not let your heart rejoice, or the Lord will see and disapprove and turn his wrath away from them. As believers in Jesus, we recognize that a far greater price purchased our redemption from slavery to sin, the death of our Savior, Savior Yeshua. We will be reciting the ten plagues that the Egyptians were afflicted with uh, because of Pharaoh's hardened heart. As we do, we will dip our pinky finger into the cup, allowing a drop of wine to fall on our napkin. We do this to reduce the fullness of our cup, thus to reduce the fullness of our joy. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do uh, is I'm going to say the plague, and then all of y'all are going to repeat after me as we dip our, our pinky in and put a drop each time Onto our napkin. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu, Malak Haolem, Ashir Kedeshenu, Bay Mitzvah Teva, Vitzvah Vanu Al Akhia La Matzva. Blessed are thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe. 